my guys it's just turning into another hot sticky summer day in April it is now Saturday April 30th we have uh, we are one-third how did that happen how are we already one-third of the way through uh, 2022 here on Saturday April 30th here in the collapse of global industrial civilization so since it is Saturday you know this is when uh, I bring you my hopium roundup uh, but guys uh, you know sometimes a story comes along uh, in, in the mainstream media and I want to thank the uh, the alert listeners who have already obviously sent me this story uh various versions uh, i don't know how many versions of this story floating around the mainstream media sometimes a story comes along that is so outlandish uh that it deserves its own rant so we're really uh just, we're just we're just going to pick out one hopium soaked apocalyptimism story uh, that that is worthy of an entire roundup because this might be the single most bullshit, outlandish, uh, hopium-soaked idea I have ever encountered in the rising tide of hopium. Uh, and we're going to talk about masks today but not the masks you're thinking of an even more outlandish mask story I, I thought we had heard every mask story to end mask stories until this one showed up and out of all of the uh, the versions of this we're going to go with Business Insider. I, I, as I say, I, there's so many to choose from. This is in today's Business Insider, and we're going to check in with what Prince Charles, that old uh, Doomer, that old Doomer Prince Charles, uh, how he is spending his money uh, this week. Okay, take it away, Business Insider. <clears throat> Burp catching mask for gassy cows designed to reduce methane emissions and slow down climate change wins prestigious Prince Charles Prize. All right, here is Prince Charles spending how much? Did Prince Charles uh, 50,000 pounds, otherwise known as $63,424, to help this new startup company called Zelp make methane catching masks for burping cows? Not sure what they're wearing for their farts. We're just talking about what's coming out of their mouths. All right, take it away, Business Insider. Apparently, with no trace of irony. Uh, I have read six articles on this, and not one article, not one writer, editor has questioned this. Not, not, not one including Business Insider. Okay, Business Insider, what is going on with this? <clears throat> An innovative face mask for cows designed to reduce methane emissions and slow down climate change has won a prestigious design award. Yes, the wearable device for cattle created by UK-based design group Zilp was one of the four winners of the inaugural TerraCart Design Lab competition. Prince Charles, 
who launched the competition as part of his sustainable markets initiative, right? Sustainable markets. There's a new uh, contradiction in terms. Prince Charles, who launched the competition as part of his sustainable market initiative, hailed the groundbreaking cow mask design as, quote, fascinating at an awards ceremony in London on Wednesday. Yes, <clears throat> the design, a smart harness. I don't know how much of the cow, I, I mean, they show a picture of this thing, but you can't see anything in the picture. The design, a smart harness for cows, converts methane into, take a wild guess, what the mask or the smart harness converts methane into. If your answer was carbon dioxide and water, give yourself a gold star. Yes, a mask that converts methane into carbon dioxide. Cows expel significant quantities of methane, an odorless greenhouse gas, which is more than 25 times as potent as carbon dioxide at trapping heat in the atmosphere, achieving significant reductions in methane emissions would have a rapid effect on slowing down climate change per the United States Environmental Protection Agency. One single dairy cow, a single dairy cow can produce up to 130 gallons of methane per day and their burps account for 95 percent of a cow's methane emissions. So I guess cow farts are only 5 percent, 95 percent coming out of their mouths. There are approximately 1 billion 1 billion cows burping every day worldwide. 1 billion cows burping. So all we have to do is mask up 1 billion cows. Problem solved. <clears throat> In the past, I, I, I'm sorry, cows and other, God damn son, cows and other farm animals produce about 14% of human-induced climate emissions. In the past, solutions to the cattle industry's methane problems have involved changing cows' diets, and, I, and I'm pretty sure I've already covered this one and, a, and another hopium roundup. Scientists have proposed the mass production of a puffy pink seaweed to combat climate change. Uh, Insider reported in 2019. I don't know how the puffy pink seaweed cattle feed is going to save the planet. How much progress has been made in the last three years since that one was mentioned. But Zelps solution allows cows to digest typical food, you know, like uh, GMO corn, with the mask working to detect, capture, and oxidize the methane in the cow's burps. Now, uh, obviously, guys, you might have been wondering uh, by this point, how does the cow eat with a mask on its face. Uh, nowhere in any of the articles uh, does the reporter ask, you know, anybody 
uh, who has gone, uh, is tried to go dining in the last couple of years wearing a mask, understands at some point you have to remove the mask to eat. I have no clue how a, a mask covering a cow's mouth lets the cow eat, but uh, I guess they're figuring out this little uh, inconvenient problem that none of these articles are talking about. A sensor at the tip of the masks detects when a cow exhales and the percentage of methane expelled. The mask sets the oxidation mechanism into action when methane levels are too high. The mask also collects data on the animals to improve efficiency and animal welfare on farms, Zelp co-founder Francisco Norris told Insider, quote, the Terra Carta Prize will play a key role in helping us tackle the final design optimizations such as figuring out how the cow is supposed to be able to eat wearing a mask, helping us tackle the final design optimizations before we can produce our technology at scale, meaning uh, before we can, uh, you know, produce one billion masks to put over the face of every cow on the planet. Nowhere in this article does it talk about the price that uh, the dairy farmers and ranchers would have to pay for this thing. <coughs> no mention uh, uh, of how the price of this thing uh, is going to affect the profits of people raising cows. <coughs> what it's going to do the, to the price of dairy and beef products, none of this being mentioned. Yes, before we can produce our technology at scale, and we are confident, we are confident that through the network that this initiative provides, we will be able to really advance our technology and to unlock its true potential. Oh, Jesus. Guys, is there one human being oops, on this planet with the possible exception of Prince Charles that putting a mask on a cow is going to save the planet from climate change. How about putting a chastity belt on humans? But anyway, I will send that idea to uh, Prince Charles next year. Uh, isn't it Prince Charles who has called humans a virus on the planet? Or was that his daddy, Prince Philip? Can't remember. Uh, so we will see how the uh, chastity belt for humans uh, will fare in the idea of how to save the planet. But we will have to wait a year for that rant. But with that... Uh, I've got to wrap up today's Hopium uh, Saga of the Week and uh, get back to figuring out what I'm doing with this hot, sticky day. My guys, mask up your cow while you still can. My guys. <laughs>